Hi everyone, so it is around about five and a half weeks until baby Apple is due to arrive into the world. I'm really excited, I'm counting down, but at the same time, to be really honest with you, I'm absolutely terrified. Um, as you guys would know from watching my many YouTube videos where I have shared with you inside my home, my life and my heart, I suffered really bad postnatal depression and got into a really scary and dark place and I really want to try and avoid that from happening again by doing things differently, by planning and preparing and do things just on a better level. Now one of the biggest and best blessings that came from having postnatal depression is I discovered minimalism. I distinctively remember that moment sitting in my kitchen looking around me at all this like excessive baby stuff. All these things that I had bought um, that I didn't need and wasn't using and just made me feel really crappy inside and guilty. So for this video I wanted to share with you what I'm doing now to help plan and prepare for a life that continues on with minimalism, zero waste and respecting and being kind to the environment while also saving money. Now of course this is just the beginning of my journey of minimalism with a baby so make sure you subscribe because I will be continuously making videos around minimalism for you because I know how much you guys love it. On that note make sure you watch all the way to the very end because I have this mother baby gift pack ready to give away to one lucky person and I'll be sharing with you how you could win it but inside there's about $330 I believe worth of goods and products for both mum and baby, which I'll be sharing and showing with you at the end of this video, so keep watching. All right, so the first thing I wanna share with you is shopping ethically. Of course, there are going to be things that you need to buy um, when you're becoming a mother that you just can't get out of, no matter how much of a minimalist you are. Try and do it ethically. Try and support small businesses and try and support businesses that are giving back to the community or to the environment. So I actually discovered this amazing company. It's called Mama Maya, and it's started up by a mother and she makes these beautiful organic cotton blankets and swaddles. And what is so beautiful about this business is every time you buy one of these swaddles, it actually helps fund a clean birthing kit that gets sent to women in developing countries around the world to help them have safer, cleaner deliveries, which is incredibly important. Now, the next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is investing in quality. Investing in products that, yes, may cost you a little bit more upfront initially, but over the long run, they're so much more durable and they're multifunctional. Now, I looked into so many different brands and thanks to the advice from you guys, I decided to get another Bugaboo. When I had Rocco, I had the Bugaboo Chameleon and it was absolutely amazing. So I decided to end up getting the Bugaboo Fox. And the reason why I chose this one is because it's going to work for my needs and it's multifunctional. The wheels are actually the biggest wheels. They have the best suspension of all the prams on the market. Now this was really important to me because I want to avoid getting sick again, so I wanna make sure that I'm able to get outside, get some fresh air, go for walks, and take the dogs for a walk with me in the park, particularly in the bush. Also from a multifunctional purpose, you can clip in the car capsule to this pram. It also obviously does the bassinet up to six months, whereas some of them are already limited to two months, to my horror. And when it converts to the toddler seat, it actually can hold a baby up to 22 kilos. So this is definitely something that's going to be used for a very long time. Now, one of the other benefits of Bugaboo, not just being a really good quality product pram, is it also has some environmental benefits in that the fabrics are actually made from recyclable bottles, which is incredible. Also, the pram is made up of 35 parts. Now that means if you happen to break something or something wears out, you can just replace that part. Also on another note, my house is quite small. I don't actually have that much storage. This actually collapses up into a really small, neat stand up position where I can slide it behind a sofa really easily. So this was absolutely perfect for all my needs. The next thing I wanna talk about is embracing having less chemicals in your home. 
Now for me, when I went through minimalism, cutting down the amount of cleaning products I have in my home and trying to reduce the chemicals as much as possible was a big priority for me. So a girlfriend got me on to Koala Eco, I think about like probably a year ago and I have never looked back. Now these products are made out of 100% Australian essential oils and they're plant-based, they're vegan, they're cruelty free friendly and they are absolutely amazing and they smell incredible. You can obviously get the refills as well, which helps save money. But the great thing about this is there's a wide range of different products from floor products to glass cleaners. And of course you've got your multi-purpose one, which is probably my favorite product of the collection. So really try and look at the ways you're reducing chemicals in your family home. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is glass bottles. So I don't really need to explain the benefits of a glass bottle over a plastic bottle, but obviously so much more sustainable, recyclable and lasts so much longer. Now this is a Tommy Tippy bottle and it is so incredibly durable and hard. I highly doubt that this could possibly crack even if I tried to but it means I'm gonna take really good care of these bottles. I'm not gonna need as many, which is also going to save me money. I also discovered these reusable food pouches. You can put yogurt, you can put food in, you could put like frozen frappes and stuff like that. But this is a fantastic way of obviously getting our children to eat healthily homemade food, but also in helping save money. Now on another note that isn't actually minimalism or zero waste, but it's probably more of an efficiency hack. And that is these Tommy Tippy breast pouches that I discovered. This actually connects to a breast pump. So you can pump away and then you can throw it straight into the freezer. And also when you pull it out and you've warmed it up, you then just connect it directly to the Tommy Tippy matching lid. And there you go. That's some milk ready to go for your baby. So a very, quick, I guess, efficiency time saving hack here. Now, the last thing I want to talk to you about is the famous nappy baby bag. So I'm just going to continue on using my state of escape bag. Now, these are vegan, cruelty free friendly because they're made of neoprene. These are absolutely amazing. This one is over four years old. And the great thing about this is it actually can go straight into the washing machine and actually comes out looking brand new but it's so great because it's actually incredibly light. This is probably one of the things I love the most. Comes with an attached pouch. So if you want to put your phone and keys, things that you need to quickly grab in a hurry where you're not foraging around for ages looking for things, this also makes it really efficient. Now, talking of what goes inside this bag, nappies and wipes, of course. And this time around, I'm going to really try when my budget permits um, to try and buy products that are environmentally friendly. So biodegradable, Baby wipes is incredibly important. And this also includes nappies. So nappies that are plant-based and biodegradable with the minimal environmental impact as possible. This is gonna be something that's really important to me that I really wanna try and stick to. So whatever I can do to try and reduce what I'm throwing out, or at least what I'm throwing out isn't gonna impact the environment, is all gonna to contribute to my sense of happiness and my sense of self-worth as being a mother and doing the best job I can. Now, as I mentioned, one lucky person is going to win this baby care pack worth over $330. Inside, we have a gorgeous book of quotes for motherhood. We also have an amazing, um, the grow egg light, which basically works out the temperature of the room for your baby so you don't overheat or the room's not too cold. We've also got some Tommy Tippy bottles in here as well. We have a neoprene bag, which is worth over $120. And in here, we also have one of these grow bag swaddles to help your baby sleep well at night. And hopefully you can sleep well at night as well. And of course, we also have two of these absolutely beautiful swaddles by Maya Mama. So if you'd like to go in the drawer to win this, please just put a comment in the comment box below by letting me know what is your number one tip for mothers who are trying to embrace minimalism. And make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Within 10 days of this video being published, I will notify the winner and I will make sure that this is express posted to you as soon as possible. And if you are watching me on Instagram, you will know when this baby arrives because I will make promise to make you sure I let you guys know and of course what sex it is and the name. Ciao for now.